my goodness. If you believe in the book of Revelations, plagues, fires, rumors of wars, and all that kind of stuff, the lifestyle that I, God bless you, Mariah, the lifestyle that I have come to think of as real has completely, in a period of six weeks, turned on its face. So everybody, if you didn't think you needed to get ready for Jesus because stuff in the Bible couldn't happen, I kind of think this little COVID quarantine thing is kind of telling us stuff could happen. I went to Norm's today um, with my mom. We were out and wanting to get something to eat. So we went to Norm's thinking, okay, we can get takeout or something like this. And my haul is going to be something that you would not ever believe from a restaurant. This is my haul here. You are going to be shocked. It's not what you expect. You know how you normally get your salad? They sold me a bag of salad. Yes, you are seeing it. Just like the restaurants use for everybody every day. They sold me this bag of salad with the red cabbage and the carrots and the lettuce. This was $5 today, okay? Um, then you know how you normally buy a meal? You buy your meal. <laughs> God bless you, Alita. Yes, oh my, you buy your meal normally. You think you're gonna get your meal the way you normally get it. Well, they sold me four raw porterhouse steaks. Four raw porterhouse steaks. These are raw. They are still frozen. They are one pound each porterhouse steak. This is what you normally would buy when you're there. And a bottle of steak sauce so that I can get my experience as if I'm eating at Norm's at home. And then they give you your vegetables that goes with your meal. This was four. This was a four porterhouse steak, so I get, guess they figured that's the same as four um, dinners. I got a zucchini. I got a, a crookneck squash. They gave me a carrot, and they gave me an onion. Now you know, with a Norm's meal, you always get your potatoes. They, get, they asked me if I wanted red potatoes or if I wanted their regular baked potatoes. So I got red potatoes. And they gave me, um, I think, eight red potatoes. So that is the way Norm's, if you have the capacity to cook at home. And I mean, I must admit I was elated because porterhouse steaks, even when they go on sale at the grocery store, go on sale for $10 a pound. So I got four pounds of porterhouse for $35. Oh, and I'm not finished. You know, a lot of times when you're at Norm's, you get breakfast. So they gave me these eggs as a gift with purchase. Yeah, this was my gift with purchase, 15 eggs, okay? This is Norm's, and with the salad, I paid $5. They included their homemade dressing. I got the honey mustard, so. You can serve the salad, you got your dressing with. The only thing I wasn't able to get was soup, you know, because that, I guess they don't want to do soup right now, but you get your salad, you get your vegetables, you get your eggs, you get your potatoes, and you get your steak. Only thing is when you get home, like I'm going to do, you have to just cook it yourself. But I did go to um, the drugstore. I go to my local drugstore. And I did pick up some snacks there. And you know, we're all, you know how we're all doing the quarantine snacks. So I thought I would share with you my snacks, not do it in a separate video. This has only been four or five minutes. So I think it'll be okay. I got the $2 cheese puffs. This is from um, Chester. Because you know, if you buy the brand name Cheetos, you gotta spend like um, four or five dollars. And I'm not really about that right now. Sometimes they go on sale, but you know, we don't like to um, be going from store to store getting the sales like we used to. You just want to go one place. So I got the bargain Cheetos. And this is something new. They have these lemon cookies for a dollar. 
Last week I got the almond cookies and my mother and I both really enjoyed the almond cookies. So this week we're trying these lemon cookies. These look like low sugar kind of butter cookie style. So got that. And they didn't have the, the lemon cookies like this. These were my favorite last week, but the lemon cookies. They, so they sold out this week at, the, at my drugstore. They sell these. They sold out at the lemon. So I thought, well, I'll try the vanilla ones. The chocolate ones, it's better to just go ahead and get Oreos when they're on sale. But the lemon cookies that they make with the lemon cream is delicious. So I'm hoping that the vanilla cream is just as good. And um, for my coconut cookie of the week or two, I tried this. This is for Passover, but Passover is over, so I got it. Um, they're these little coconut bars. Some people call them macaroons or something like that. But they're another low sugar cookie option that it still tastes like a cookie. It still like, tastes like a treat, but it's not quite as bad for you as some can be. And then what I went in there for, I got myself some tissues. So I got a couple of boxes of tissues. <laughs> These are just no-name brands. I think they're like a buck each. I don't know. Sometimes during COVID, people are raising the prices on stuff. But, you know, I understand they're not getting as many customers. And we do want our businesses in our neighborhood for convenience when we can go back out and shop like we used to. And lastly, <laughs> oh, God bless you, Daisaline. Um, I got some red vines. So this was the last thing I got this week was my red vines. And you guys, um, I'm starting to get the hang of this whole thing. I cover my hair when I go out. I wear my sweatsuit, take it off when I get in the house, um, wash my clothes <laughs> before I wear them out a second time. And the thing about it is my makeup. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I like doing my makeup normally. And I haven't been wearing my makeup since this whole COVID thing. But today, for the first time, I wasn't scared to the point where I could take time to enjoy putting on some makeup. And I had to learn COVID makeup. I mean, notice I don't have on any lipstick today. That's because, you know, we're all wearing masks. So nobody sees my lipstick and then it messes up the mask. So I had to learn to leave my lipstick and my lip gloss off. And those are my favorite. You know, some of us, we love our lipstick. If we don't wear any makeup at all, lipstick is the one that we choose to wear. But nobody can see it now. It gets all over the mask, makes a big mess. So I had to let that go. I can wear my lip glosses around the house because they feel good to me. But, you know, but then again, around the house, I'm wearing lip balm. So that's why it's like this. And you might see mask lines. Remember how some people used to have glass lines um, gl from your glasses? So if you see discoloration in my makeup, that's probably where my mask was because I didn't take time to redo my makeup before this video. But I have learned to take a cue from the people who are in the Middle East. What can you, what can you see at this time? This is it, guys. So, um, you know... I did my little eye makeup. So um, that's my haul. I'm gonna go prepare this lovely steak dinner for my family. And it should be easy. Oh, thank you. God bless you, Daisalines. I'm trying to learn how to do quarantine COVID makeup, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not something I thought about, but you know, so this is a quick video. That's all I got. I want to show you if you have a norms nearby and you've always wanted those steak dinners, you can get four if you cook them yourself at home with your vegetable, with your potato, with your salad and your eggs so you can have steak and eggs for breakfast the next day for 40 bucks. That's really good. I know um, you guys in my area at the grocery store, porterhouse steaks are normally about, on sale, they're, they're $10 a pound. So they would have been about 25% more than what I paid. And when they're on sale for $10 a pound, you do not get your vegetables with it, nor do you get your steak sauce and your um, fancy homemade salad dressing. You know, those fancy salad dressings cost you like five bucks a bottle. And um, this right here will last me several, several times. 
and I finally got enough eggs now with these eggs where I feel comfortable, you know, going back to having eggs for breakfast. Because you guys, I wasn't having eggs for breakfast because um, I didn't want to run out of eggs and I wanted to be able to, you know, if I wanted to make a waffle or a pancake or a cake or something, I wanted my eggs for that. But now I have eggs where I can even make a quiche. So I'm really excited about that. And to think, it was Norm's that did it for me, you know? So I didn't have to go to the grocery store. I was the only person in Norm's, only customer in Norm's. I got my groceries. God bless you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate those of you who have stuck with me through COVID. I guess I should probably confess to this. Um, I haven't been doing my regular uh, content videos because it, in light of the current crisis, a lot of what I used to talk about doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I'm always going to be real and healthy. Even if I lose subscribers over it, that's fine. I'm not going to take you down a channel of doing something that doesn't make sense. Okay? Like, um, I wore my um, fragrance today for the first time outside in a long time. You know, normally I haven't been wearing it lately. But today I wore my fragrance and it really felt good. But I think I was in kind of a shell shock and, you know, this crisis hit me and all I thought about was what can I do to make sure that my family and I survive and are healthy. And so that's what my videos have been about. You know, now I'm getting to the point where I can do stuff like put on a little makeup, put on a little fragrance and get more into those first world things. But my channel went totally survival. And I appreciate those of you who stick with me. I mean, I'm doing a grocery store haul here. <laughs> you know? So God bless you. I appreciate. Um, and we'll get through this. But my channel is always going to be real. It's, it's always going to be relevant to the truth. Even if that means my viewership is whatever God has it to be. For those who come by, they're going to be blessed. You know, that's what I'm going to do. So now you know. Okay, God bless everybody. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. I really appreciate you. God bless you, Iris. God bless you. Thanks for popping by.